Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my next live attack video, and in this one, um, attacking another Town Hall 9, uh, this is in 3 Star Union, so obviously a bit lower level that we get matched up with, uh, but still a pretty good base, and just taking a quick look at it, I'm guessing there's going to be uh, giant bombs and Teslas, probably can fit, I believe, like... Um, Probably can fit all eight, uh, all four bombs and four Teslas in there. So definitely going to be a pretty uh, wild fight in there in the core. Um, and I was planning to do my first attack live, which was a 95% two-star, but wasn't able to record it. So um, the game plan for this is uh, going to drop two balloons uh, right in this cannon, uh, take the cannon out, come in. There's only 13 uh, troop space inside the CC. So I'm guessing it's only a wizard and some archers and stuff. Uh, so they should come out. I can use my poison on them. Uh, should be pretty easy with the CC kill. Um, once that goes down, I'm going to go ahead and send my golems in. I'm going to send a golem here and a golem here on those two cannons. Um, wizards on both sides creating the funnel, obviously. And then I'm going to have a witch. Just going to start spawning some skeletons. And then my king uh, coming pretty soon after, backed up by a few more wizards. My queen is down. Uh, that's why I'm warring in three-star union, because my queen is being upgraded. So don't have her for this attack. Um, then I'm going to drop a jump, and hopefully I can make it so there's two entry points in the jump. Uh, wait, they can enter there and enter there. And if I'm lucky, both golems will reroute. I'm pretty sure the one right here will. But this one uh, might not, but hopefully it'll go in here like that after the cannon goes down. Uh, but we'll see on that. And then once everything goes in, uh, I'm going to take off the queen and hopefully trigger some stuff in here. And then I'm going to start my hog attack. Uh, I'm going to just drop a giant to tank on each cannon. And then about three to four hogs on each of these defenses. I'm working my way around. Um, can do about three on half the defenses, four on half. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of work my way around, and I have three heal spells, so I'll probably end up dropping uh, one pretty quickly here, um, one around this air defense, and then probably one for all the craziness inside the core of the base. Um, drop my cleanup troops and hopefully get the three star here, so <clears throat> let's see how this one ends up, ends up going. Uh, I do have a low level golem, a level one golem in my CC. Um, that's just because the war is pretty much over, so I'm not going to hang around and wait forever uh, to do this attack. So I'm going to go ahead and just see how it goes uh, with the low-level golem. But wish me luck. I'm going to try to take out the space, uh, make sure I have everything. Um, Alright, let's see. Got the golem, uh, spells, hero. Uh, yeah, all looks good. I think we're just about ready to hit this space. Alrighty, here we go. Alrighty, balloons. That's going down. Alright, they're going to make their way on in. Um, let's see if they can take all the CC contents. Yeah, I believe that's all that's going to be in the CC. You can drop my poison. Um, Looks like that's going to be all 13 troop space. So no need to uh, drop a hog or anything. Uh, we're going to go golem. Golem, get some wizards down, get the witch, uh, here we go, let's get this jump going, and then the king, alrighty, everything looking pretty good, gonna let that develop a little bit longer, the golem's coming back in, um, that's all good. King's locking on to the queen. Um, she's about to go down. Pop the ability. Here we go. Alrighty, everything's down. Um, still have that witch up. Looks like she's doing some work up there. Gonna drop these goblins. Um, try to get everything nice and spread out. But there's a ton of hogs left over. 
I'm not sure where the giant bombs were in this base. I know there was two inside the core, uh, but I'm not sure where the other ones are. And, um, yeah, I don't even know builder's huts in the corners. We're looking good. Dropped that last archer. Um, pretty smooth attack. Everything went well. I don't, I think the kill squad was actually pretty effective. I was, because a lot of times what happens is if I don't have my queen, uh, my entire kill squad, like the golems, the wizards, the witches, they will all die. But that one witch stayed up and she provided a lot of skeletons to help distract those Teslas. Um, and the hog deployment went well. I I don't know if I ended up hitting. I think at the end I hit one of those uh, giant bombs. But for the most part, only those two in the core were really any kind of issue. And I had a heal spell for that. So um, everything went pretty well. Let's take a look at the replay. Uh, just so I can see what exactly happened. Um, pretty quick attack, though. You know, 2 minutes, 15 seconds. Usually I'm pretty crunched on time, but went well there. Balloons uh, take out that defense and do a little bit of damage to those surrounding buildings. Um, go ahead and get the CC lure. Had there been like a Valk or a Balloon, I would have had to drop another Hog, but um, all 13 troop space came out, so I went ahead and dropped my Poison spell there. I uh, took out the CC troops. Um, then over here... Uh, drop the golems down. Uh, that one level one golem was pretty good on tanking. Uh, it did a nice job, and I brought quite a few wizards. I think ten of them, and that what that allowed me to do was these wizards are were quick enough to shoot down these trash, and then they lock onto these uh, defenses and they shoot down the archer towers, the cannons. Um, so a lot of that point defense gets taken out of the way quickly, uh, which helped my golems uh, maintain a lot of their health. King goes in, uh, witches or just the one witch spawning skeletons. That one golem did reroute, so the golemites will go back in. Uh, use the king's ability to get the queen down. And then everything in the core there, uh, trigger that first bomb, that's good. And I think my king even does some damage to the enemy uh, king before he goes down. Hog deployment was nice. Uh, looks like I did not hit any bombs right at the initial uh, start of it, but the heals were good. Uh, except for those hogs on the expo, everything was healed. And then I have that last heal, which I dropped just in time. Uh, for that giant bomb because those Teslas can pick off hogs very quickly if uh, a giant bomb hits them and they're really low on health because the Tesla shoots so fast. But the t uh, hogs were healed, Teslas weren't able to take them out, and I have over half my hogs left up. There's a ton of hogs in there, probably about 10 or 12 of them. Um, they're all going to make their way through, take out the town hall, and have a pretty good spread on my cleanup troops, so all the buildings going down. Uh, pretty nice attack. Uh, so. A lot better than my first attack. It was kind of a weird thing uh, with a high, higher level base and um, just hit a giant bomb at the end. So I had, there was literally one defense with the Tesla up and I hit a giant bomb. All my hogs died and that one Tesla just dis destroyed me. So uh, this was a lot better and you can see the last giant bomb was up there. So I'm not sure where his fourth one was. It might be in that mini compartment down there. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Got the three star. Hope you guys enjoyed the live attack. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.